What's up guys, I'm Just a Gamer bringing you my thoughts on some gaming news today. First up, an update on Final Fantasy XV. If you've seen my last video, you know that during an interview with Famitsu, the director of Final Fantasy XV revealed that the later half of Final Fantasy XV will actually be a much more linear game in terms of gameplay and story. And I expressed some concerns that what if all the footage we've seen so far of the open world where Noctis and company are running around is actually the only open world segment of the game, while the majority would be a much more linear experience. Now I don't know if this is in response to some negative feedback in regards to fans about this, but during PAX, he in a way recanted his previous statement by saying that instead of the later half of Final Fantasy XV being linear, he said that the very end of the game would be. And he even outlined that after a train sequence in the game is when the game would stop being open world and become much more linear. Now again, he may have said this because of some the negative feedback from fans who were worried about the open world aspect of the game and the much more linear aspect of it as well. So I don't know if I should take this with a grain of salt of him just trying to save faith or if this is actually true and it is only near the very end of the game. But he also did confirm that even though story-wise you'll be locked out of the open world, he did say that through the main menu you could go back to the open world. Now, I don't know if this is better or worse, but it's something. Again, we can't know for sure until the game releases in a couple of months. Also regarding Final Fantasy XV is something I touched upon a while back. During some of the new gameplay showed, they showed the very beginning of Final Fantasy XV, and they showed a much older Noctis and company fighting what I presume to be Ifri. Now I speculated that the rest of the game would actually be some sort of flashback and maybe we would cut back and forth between these past and future segments. But during PAX, the director of Final Fantasy XV confirmed that the entirety of Final Fantasy XV will take place over the course of 10 years. So I think I was half right in that concern. But overall, it's very unique and different take on story in terms of Final Fantasy. I can't really think of any other Final Fantasy that takes place over such a long period. The only one that comes to mind is Final Fantasy Tactics, but I'm not positive. But regardless, it's very cool and I really am interested in the story and to see how it does play out. Lastly. Later this week, Sony will have a PlayStation conference ahead of Tokyo Game Show. Rumors suggest that the main thing going to be shown during this conference is the new PS4 Neo and the new PS4 Slim. Now I personally don't know how I feel about either of these two new systems. I'm happy with the PS4 I have now. Would I be willing to upgrade? Maybe. But they keep reiterating that it's still going to be a PS4 at its core, so all the games will work regardless if you have a PS4 or PS4 Neo. But I'm still worried that this will affect the life cycle. They keep saying it will not, but how can it not? You're introducing a new, more powerful version of a current system. It's still technically a new system. You can put old name on it but it's a new system so I am worried that the generations are gonna start getting a little shorter and that might start hurting people's wallets a lot faster that's all for today I hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment subscribe check out some of my other videos and remember I'm just a gamer peace